In the last video, we created all the necessary profile planes and profiles or guide curves so that we can finally create the seat, rollover, and front surfaces. At this point, we need to decide whether we want to create a boundary that goes from here to here, a second boundary that goes from here to here, and then finally a fill that goes from here to here, or a single boundary that goes from here all the way up to here using these as guide curves and then just simply a fill that goes from this edge up to here. As I've mentioned before, for this video I will make three surfaces, but I think you might want to try making two just to see how it works. I'm going to start with the front boundary because generally I like to start with boundary surfaces and then finish with fill surfaces. Before I start, I'm going to copy this curve from my layout and this curve from my layout so that they, the original layouts will not be absorbed into my surface features. Here's my copied curve, another copied curve, and the profile sketch I drew on an angled plane. So I will now make the boundary surface. Select these two curves as my direction one. These two as direction two. We see that the boundary has gone all the way up to the top here, but we want it to end on this direction one curve. So what we will do is click trim by direction one, and this will trim these edges back down to where the boundary ends on direction one. By the way, make sure that this curve is set normal to profile so that when this surface is mirrored over, you will have a smooth blend at the mirror plane. For this surface, the rollover, I will once again copy this curve from the layout, although I could share it with this surface, but this will just keep my feature tree a little bit cleaner. So this has been copied. I'll use this existing edge of this boundary, this profile, and this profile. Going to boundary surface. For direction one, I will choose this edge, this profile, this profile. Direction two, this curve, this edge. And once again, I'm going to trim by direction one so that these curves trim back to the boundaries formed in direction one. Now I need to make sure that this edge is set to curvature and this edge, which is a sketch element, is set normal to profile. My final surface will be the fill that will use one, two, three edges, and one, two, three constraint profile curves. Fill surfaces have one problem where you do not have a normal to profile control on any sketch elements. What we need to do is copy this curve, trim it back to this point, extrude that surface normal to the mirror plane. We're going to use the edge of that surface to build off of our fill surface and go tangent to that surface. This is what that extruded surface will look like. Before we build the fill, there's one last thing we want to do. When we select this edge, we notice that the entire edge highlights all the way down to the bottom. The trouble is the fill surface command does not have the same sort of edge controls that the boundary does. So what we want to do to get around this problem and have this edge end at this corner is to knit these three surfaces together ahead of time, which I'll do by unsuppressing the knit. We see that when I highlight this edge, it now ends at this corner, and this has become one surface body.